Assalamu alaikum guys, Assalamu alaikum guys, this is me Senpai Gumarsan, I'm your host Senpai, we are playing the game The Dust with Soul, Thomas and Dan just did the spy chat Dan, what the hell, where have you been, you know what, doesn't matter What the hell is going on with you, you're still homing up your end of the deal Shit, Dan I'm serious, yes, yes of course, thanks, don't make me regret this and then Jesse talked to me why would he think that okay here we go so we talked to uh, about the hacker and she said that god damn it why won't you guys showing the previous messages she was talking about the hacker and you guys can read it what really happened and what I talk about the hacker as you can see why would he think that He's a part of ours, so we'll talk to you later, and yada yada yada. And then Coley talked to me. She told me the long story about the Elfie. You guys already know about that. Anyway, let's do it. <coughs> what was that all about? Whatever it was, it sounded hardly suspicious. It sure did. Maybe we will be able to figure it out together what it means. I thought it was more than odd that Thomas disappeared after the news of the dead body surfaced. Wait, how do you find out about this? He's currently my main suspect. Maybe he was just devastated. Maybe he was just devastated. Wait. Something else is happening. Dan and Polk. Mother, how are you doing today, Mr. Anderson? I've got your little message. Dan is now online. Then why the hell are you testing me then? I just want to make sure. You are as a paranoid as ever I see. How about you cut it out? Okay, okay, calm down. <coughs> you know the time and the place. Of course. Perfect. Three, five, zero. You got it. Three hundred? No way. Asshole. Likewise. Oh, and then. What? I'm sorry about the girl. Me too. Dan is now offline. <coughs> hmm. Hmm. What do you think all this could mean? This stranger is paid to cover the tracks. This stranger is hiding the Thomas with him. It appears Dang is buying something from the stranger. <coughs> so that Thomas can leave the city. And for that he is asking for three fifty dollar. That is exactly what I think. Good job. Thanks. <coughs> okay. Beside that, I'm sure that they were referring or something highly illegal. It's a drugs. Dan was bending over backward to make sure that the object in the question was not mentioned by the name. We have to get to the bottom of this. I've always known that Dan was up to not good, but does that really have something to do with Hannah? Precisely. I don't know.
but until we can eliminate the possibility for sure we have to follow this lead let me think I'm going to get the stranger phone numbers and I'm going to talk to him but I can't promise anything good idea and I will contact him to take care of it and what I'm supposed to tell him and what I'm supposed to tell him I did not say that the plan was perfect Can't you try to engage him in the conversation? Tell him that you got his number from friend. Either you are going to get somewhere with that or not. In that the case, you can always say you texted the wrong number. Doesn't that sound somewhat convincing? We will see how it goes. No, but I'm pretty good at improvising. Okay, it will be fine. Give me the little time to find out the number. It's now offline. So, I was able to reconstruct the cur part of the picture. As the item description, what the hell? It's a drugs. I think we should take closer look at that. Why should we do that? I found it and you described it. I found it and you described it. It made legible. I bet that wasn't hard. Very well. Legible. Very well. Please. We will look into to, to into it together. My first question is, <coughs> why did she do that? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? The fact that she uploaded her prescription into the cloud. I don't get it. The type of behavior. Did you ever load up the prescription into your cloud? Possibly, I don't use the cloud. No, what about you? No. Come on, man. I think the next thing we should do is to find out what drag was prescribed with the script. <coughs> SSRI. Does that tell you anything? Hmm, I have never heard about it. No, I, know. I think we should get some help from some almighty internet. I will find out before you wanna bet. Good idea, let's do that. Go ahead, I'll be waiting. I'm going to find out on my own. I will find out before you wanna bet. You do know who you are talking to, right? Are you checking out? Are you checking out? You will see. Five credits, you up for it. I will raise the stakes, seven. Let's do the three cast residency. <laughs> Great. Let's go. I know what it is. It's a simple pain medication. It's for a birth control. SSRI. What is this? Okay. What the hell is this simple pain medicine? It's an antidepressant. It's an antidepressant. 
Let's see what it say. That is the correct. You actually won. Congratulations. That was easy. That was easy. <laughs> I'm honored to present you with the promise credits. Ha <laughs> ha! Fuck yeah! We should talk about this drug. Was Henna suffering from depression? I don't know. No. None of this makes sense. Gallery updated. What the hell on the road? I'm going to contact you again later, okay? Is everything okay? Yes. Everything's fine. Did I say something wrong? No, of course not. Let's talk later. I have to go and research a few things. What the hell? Cloud documents. Where should I go? What is going on to happen when I have nowhere else to turn? When the fake smile disappeared because there are no more feelings left to ignore. The forest lies still, but it has not always been like that. Today is one of those days that I have been warned about. A horrible day, but no one told me that the days leading up this moment would be equally hard to fathom. I know that it will pass. It always does. But it helps not to think about it. Today is the horrible day for me. Oh, fuck. No way. No fucking way. I'm outside the henna's apartment. Don't tell me you are planning to break in. It sounds so much worse than what it actually is. I just come by here by any chance. I just came by here by any chance, but I don't think it would be do any harm to take a look around. Are you into breaking or something? I don't think that's a good idea. I'm afraid that you would make matters worse. I'm afraid that you would make matters worse. What do you mean by that? What if you find a dead end leads to the waste of your overtime? It will make you suspect if you blow your cover. It will make you suspect if you blow your cover. Even if it may seem this way, you are right now. This was not a part of Spatus's idea on my part. Before I started texting you, I was wondering, would Hannah do the same thing for me? And I'm sure she would. No, don't. Don't. She would have done in the first day as soon as she knew. <coughs> okay, well, it's not like I can convince you. I wish I had a best friend like you, Kole. Ah, oh, smiley face. Let's rip her. Oh, joking. Anyway, just joking. Don't be serious. Anyway, <laughs> what the hell? If it makes you feel any better, I'm not breaking in. I know where her emergency key is hidden. Wait. I'm going to call you as you know. Two heads are better than one. Okay, let's attend. What the fuck? It's so dark here. Wait, what? getting scared oh, it's so dark here Sh 
shit, 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 shit. What was it? What the hell? Connection lost? What the hell? What the fuck? Show me, show me, show me. I'm going to call you as you know to that. We were excited that the you have started to search your hand. I enjoy the next episode. Duskwood needs you. We need you assistant for the future episode. If you are not supporter yet, now is a good time. Rate us a five star. I already gave the five star. Episode three. Okay. Hey. Hey. For some reason, the phone just cut out. That was a Thomas at the door, just now. Thomas? I thought he did disappear. What was he doing to our Anna apartment? Did he do something to you? No. Actually, we are both still in the apartment right now. Is there something wrong, Kole? I'm going to text you when I get back home. I just wanted to tell you real quick that everything is fine and that you don't have to worry about me. Okay, I'm glad that you're okay. I'm glad that you're okay. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Call is off right now. I don't trust this shit. I don't trust this shit. Take a look at this. What? What the fuck? Let me know when you had a chance to look at it. I can't open this right now. Really? The picture is on my profile in just case you want to take a look at it later. I can't. Remember the dead city? We end this game. Guys, this is the game. I mean dead city, the virus cry for him, then the season 3 is the one I was playing saving the Mikey. No, let me be more specific. Anyway, this is the new newspaper article about the body that was found. No, let me be more so specific. A tiny newspaper article about the body that was found. And do you want to know what's one of the front pages instead? Sell at Rudy Bike Shop deemed a huge success. Maybe they were not trying to make it into the big thing. Okay, that's really messed up. I don't think that's a big deal. Okay, that's really messed up. Absolutely. Why are they acting like it's not important? I don't want to even think about it, but what if it was really henna? That is so typical for Duskwood. Huh. Something terrible happened and everybody is ignoring the truth. I can definitely understand why you are also why you are so angry. Weren't you doing the exact same thing just recently? 
What do you mean? Weren't she? Oh man. I have to. I can definitely understand why you are so angry. Uh. God damn it. Thanks. What I can say, you are clearly not from Dustwood, which I think is too bad. Why do you think it's too bad? I'm glad not to be from Dustwood. That's too bad. Thomas, hey guys. Richie is now offline. Online. Thomas is back. Hey there, how are the things going? Welcome back, Thomas. I'm really ticked off with you. Sorry. Well, looks who's back. Ah, oh, great. We were really worried. I'm really sorry, guys. I went to the police. The body is not Hannah's. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad. Phew. I'm so relieved. I said that from the start and you guys were panicking for no reason. I wouldn't say that it was a for no reason. A body is body. Dan was saying that it wasn't necessary in reference to Hannah. Exactly. Senpai Gonsan, I'm really starting to like you. <laughs> I just wanted to make it clear. Anyway, finally some good news. Very true. But whose body is it then? I have no clue. The cops didn't give up any information. Alright then. I just wanted to let you guys know. I will talk to you later. Hold up, Thomas. Yes. I forget what I was gonna say. So you have been at the police station all this time? And afterward you told us right away? And that's the only place you went? I was crying after you told me about the body. I was so sure that it could be only Hannah. So now you know I cried like a baby before going to police. Happy? I'm not trying to make you feel uncomfortable. At least we know the truth now. I'm not trying to make you feel uncomfortable. Oh, Thomas. Thomas is offline. Hmm? Yes, he's offline. Hello, Senpai Gamer san. What's up? I decided to read into your tight little chat with Koei. I don't like Nick Manure. I'm not surprised. I'm sorry. But after Koei's phone call was dropped, I was a little worried. 
Well, what do you want me to say? My talk with colleagues are private. What do you want me to say? I don't think it was Thomas. I can understand that's not a good feeling, but I just wish that you could see my point of view and realize why I'm doing this. And I'm just wish that you could get straight at the to the point. So it makes you to know how I feel about it. So it matters to you kn- to you how I feel about it. I understand where you are coming from. Thank you. What do you think Thomas went to the apartment? I have absolutely no idea to cover his tracks. Maybe he was trying to retrack something. A pretty logical assumption. To be honest, I'm not so sure of myself. I'm sure Cole is going to give you the whole story through. She was acting weird earlier. Something wasn't right. You think I didn't notice anything? She was scared, like she wanted to tell me something. Like she wanted to tell me something because of Thomas. because of Thomas The fact that you can sense stuff like this is its utmost important to us Fuck yeah bitch I find it difficult to read emotion when communicating only by text messages I never heard anyone say this before. That's what you got me for. Thanks. Normally I don't like to talk about this flaw of mine. Thank you for telling me. That's not a flaw in my eyes. That's not a flaw in my eyes. We can talk about this more in detail another time if you would like to know more. There are more important things we need to talk about right now. Let's talk about my mysterious finding in Hena's cloud. What about the folks phone number? What about the folks phone number? All oh, right, thank you for reminding me. I need a little more time for that. Do you remember what you were going to ask him? Not really. You were supposed to find out what Dan Brock from Pokes. Okay. We didn't come up with this perfect plan yet, but I believe it would be best if you try to engage him in the conversation and tell him that you got his number from his friend. Either that is going to work for you or it will bust it in that case. Say that you accidentally dialed the wrong number. Either that's going to work or you will get busted. In that case, just say that you accidentally dialed the wrong number. Let's talk about my mysterious let's talk about the henna inti depression cloud <sighs> You're right we didn't even get a chance to talk about the strange note yet 
Huh. Would you like to read it again before we walk? Talk about it. You can find it on my profile. Believe those who are seeking the truth. Doubt those who find it. Ag. <laughs> yeah. Hold on for a minute. No, I'm fine. As you wish. I read the page several times. Unfortunately, I don't understand what you say. I don't think that the note is helping us in any way. But I did like to share my thoughts about it. Okay. Of course. I think she was going through a heartbreak. She's writing about the dream. I think that the text was helping her to process something. You know what? Forget it. I think she was going through a heartbreak. Hmm. What? Why do you think that? Because she sounds so confused. It just intuition. Because the text is pretty emotional. Because she sounds pretty desperate. Because she sounds pretty desperate. You are incredibly observant. Can I ask you something? Absolutely. You never thought that Hena's behavior was strange. No. Does that fl have to do yeah, with your flaw? But you do know that Hena is a person, right? Does that have to do with your flaw? <laughs> Possibly. That would mean... That could mean you only ever texted each other. Hannah doesn't even know you. You only ever texted each other. One day I will tell you everything. Oh my god. Once the right time has come. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. The hacker is her boyfriend. Someone else. I would have never thought that she suffered from depression. I knew it, a son of a bitch. But it doesn't change anything for us. Just in case you think that she could uh, have harmed herself, that's not even up for debate. Just so you know, it's up for debate to me because you don't want to believe it. Because you don't want to believe it. Because it's not true. We should still consider it anyway. Huh. Uh. What are we getting at? Should we give up searching for Hannah because we believe that she killed herself? No, of course not. Let's change the subject. No, this is really important to me. Just tell me that you will be prepared when it's come down to it. I'm just trying to protect you. Why are you stubborn? Is that serious question? Just imagine that person that means a lot to you kill herself. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you feel bad. Let's just change subject. 
I think we have got most important points to cover up. With the exceptions that the body is not Hannah's. Were you trying to avoid this topic? No, at least I wasn't doing it intentionally. From the start, I was convinced that it would be not henna. I just remember that I wanted to ask you if you find out something else in the meantime. I thought you didn't ever ask. There is a clue that the points the one of the dust would legend, but it has something to do with the supernatural. Do you want to tell me about it? Once the right time has come. Once the right time has come. Are you mocking me uh, right now? No, you know how I, I always feel. Doesn't feel so great, doesn't it? I have to admit, this made me laugh. But I guess I deserve the fact that you are making me wait to hear your news. I think I can make an exception. Will you are going to have to live with that? No, I'm not that mean. It's about the old Dustwood legend. The man without a face. He is targeting the liars that have committed horrible sins. All his victims are women. Committed the horrible sins. Oh, what she says about in my previous video about the LP mention it committed sins or the liars uh, horrible sins and he kills them he drags them into the forest Jesse has seen the man I forget the rest rumor has it Hannah is the one of his victim Jesse has seen the man. I messed up. Let me start over. I messed up. Let me start over. It's about the legends of the dustwood. The man without the face. The man without shadow. He is targeting the liars. He is targeting the liars and he kills them. He drags them into the forest. Jesse has seen the man. Forget. Rumor has it. Hena is the one of his victims. Rumors, not a rumors. Uh, rumors has it the henna is the one of the big star. Yeah, that source it. Okay, I wrote this all down. Generally, I wouldn't get my hopes up with the legends of the ghost story. I think this is an important lead. It's worth a try. Don't get me wrong, I still want to check into, of course. But first I will find out the Pokes phone number for you. Cool. Great. Solve three mini games. Card selection. God damn it.
What the fuck is this? How could I break this shit, man? Hmm. Also, that's how. Right. There we go. And here we go. There we go. Seven moves, four remains. There is done. But what in the hell was that? Great. Eight remain. Ah, shit. There we go. There we go. And there we go. There we go. Done. Fucking kidding me. You fucker. Oh man, come on man. Great.
One down. The other down. One move remain. Give up. Ah, oh, great. Just need to solve one puzzle, man. Fast forward. I mean, not fast forward. I guess I gotta go. Bye bye, take care. Love you all. Allah, Pakistan, Allah, Pakistan, Zindabad. Peace. We are on the episode 3. Who knows what's gonna be happening in the next episode. Inshallah, we will figure it out. For now, I gotta go. You guys can saw the full walkthrough about the dust mode and i hope you enjoy this game and the link in description you guys can check it out later for now i gotta go bye bye tk love you all allah peace yeah peace